and we have power as you can see I finally got everything running um, no controller at the front because of green time Leo Liu thank you very much for wasting so much work that I did um, I've had to rip off my controller from my poor bike and cut off the whole plugs that I don't have matching and get everything happening on this bike um, had to shorten the the uh, phase that were just way too long before so as you can see my first attempt is green blue green blue since this is lion that's how I was running it on my on the um, hub motors successfully and the, it also has the hall wires already swapped anyway that's kind of boring for most people I think what everyone wants to see is actually giving it a bit of throttle and having a listen to the sound and so here we go yeah, so I'm not sure if it's the correct combination of ports uh, have a listen to this and have a look how close that is so it's just touching Just touching, maybe. Am I getting little bits of LEDs coming off it? Is it supposed to sound like that? That just sounds sexy, my pose. I'm not sure if it's supposed to sound like that, but that's hot. Bit of a wobble there. So yeah, I don't have a torque arm on yet. Um, so I'm intending to take this off anyway and put in a smaller chain ring. Uh, but just looking at that reduction and the amount of these two chains separate speed, if you have a look at how fast that's spinning how fast that's spinning at the same speed quite a lot of reduction isn't it quite slow spinning there so it looks like a uh, very looking hardly turning have a listen to the sound and, and the watts I'm not sure. It's about 25 watts, 20 watts. She spins pretty fast at 100 watts. I can't imagine this with 3,000. 3,000 watts. Oh my god. Uh, is there anything else left to say? Yeah, there's quite a lot to do um, to the wiring and the controller. Slight issue. I probably lose a centimeter here um, to from my travel because of the plastic that I used I, I didn't realize I was going to put the controller here it was supposed to go up here the big one but the reason I, main reason I changed my mind is the lines much thinner I with the uh, green time it was sticking out making access to these um, uh, bolt bolts and nuts here which um, put tension on the motor that's a feel of that I can't feel anything so I need access to that and it actually fits quite perfectly and the weight of it right now is is exactly on the um, stop, the plastic stop that I put in to space it, uh, to fill the space there. Uh, how's the the pedal situation going over here? As you can see, I did a lot of uh, bringing this bringing this right in. As I said before, that's like less than a hair, or maybe even touching. I didn't think it would touch so much, but. Um, I can always take it off and kind of give it a bit of a 
uh, filed down on the inside just to get get that extra hair there. So when we when we spin our uh, crank, when we spin our crank, you can see I've <laughs> trammeled a little run around the sides of it too much. And yeah, so that was that's the hard part there. And clearing that, clearing these main points. So this this could be bent out a little bit. Um, I don't know. It was kind of bent already, but I'm not complaining. I'm just um, explaining what I've what I've been doing. So I sanded these. I think they're called bushes. Just a little. I filed them in a little bit on on the edges so that the guard could go inwards. And now you can see this was the fur was hitting. Um, if I had it tightened how I wanted, but just a little bit looser on the tightening, so it, it passes passes that immovable object by that much and if I need to file this a little bit more once I put pedal pressure on it um, I will on, off the inside of the cranks as you can see they're looking a bit silver probably in there so yeah pretty much uh, I gotta blow out a bit more file in there so yeah that's all I got to say really and apart from that I've got miserable weather so I can't even go for a test ride Bummer dude, but very happy to have it running. Thanks Mike.